Ever pondered the celestial consequences of infidelity? Well, pull up a cloud and let's dive into a heavenly tale. Picture this. Three men, all freshly departed from the earthly realm, find themselves at the pearly gates, greeted by none other than St. Peter himself. Now, St. Peter, being the gatekeeper of heaven, has a rather peculiar method of transportation assignment. You see, your ride in the afterlife depends on just how loyal you were to your spouse back on terra firma. The first man steps up, a sheepish look on his face, and confesses to four instances of infidelity. St. Peter, with a stern nod, hands him the keys to a Chevrolet. Not exactly a Rolls Royce, but hey, it's better than hoofing it. Next up, the second man, a tad more contrite, admits to seven lapses in marital judgment. St. Peter, shaking his head, tosses him the keys to a Dodge. The man grimaces, eyeing the first man's Chevy with a hint of envy. Finally, the third man, standing tall and proud, declares that he never once cheated on his wife. St. Peter raises an eyebrow, skeptical. Absolutely sure about that? He asks. The man nods, adding, Never with a woman, at least. Plenty of men, if that counts. St. Peter, taken aback, hands over the keys to a shiny Ford. So, there you have it, folks, our celestial tale of fidelity, infidelity, and everything in between. The moral of the story? Well, it seems that honesty pays off in the afterlife, though perhaps not in the way you'd expect. And remember, when it comes to your heavenly ride, it's not just about the make and model, but the mileage on your moral compass. Because whether it's a Chevy, a Dodge, or a Ford, we're all just cruising down the highway of eternity. Buckle up and drive safe out there.